bigger and better, that's the message from the organisers of this year's Cows Week. Round the world, record-breaking sailor Dee Kafari is looking forward to racing hard and enjoying the social scene. Well, I'm very lucky that all my round the worlds are generally over the winter and so I always get to come back for the summer and Cows Week is a highlight for me in the sailing calendar and my personal calendar. I think it's an opportunity to see so many people passionate about the sport and enjoying the sport and whether you're ashore or on the water, it's actually a, the whole buzz of the week that I just, I love and I wouldn't want to miss it. Cows Week organisers expect more boats than last year. They also anticipate around 100,000 spectators to descend upon the town. Marketing director Kate hopes Ladies' Day will be a highlight. Well, we're expecting to see approximately 55 female skippers. Um, about a third of our competitors tend to be female, and we're seeing a growing number of female skippers, which is something we're really pleased about and we're encouraging. Um, we're highlighting female participation through our Ladies' Day, which is on Tuesday the 11th of August this year, where we'll be asking all of the ladies to visit us, um, dressing in navy and white. We're planning to turn cows navy and white, so we're asking ladies to come in their traditional navy and white seafaring stripes. Um, that's both shoreside and women out on the water and we'll be out offering lots of prizes to women who come dressed nautically. There are also economic benefits for the island. Aberdeen Asset has been sponsoring Cows Week for five years. The investment management group couldn't resist such a prestigious event. I just think it's just it's just lovely I think that to see people come together and actually have fun and uh, you know and see it's such a great spectacle to see all the boats out on the water and the competitiveness and the camaraderie and I mean I did my, my very first year of Cow's Week in 2011 I actually did go out sailing which I'd never ever done before and I was covered in bruises but I thoroughly enjoyed the experience so I can quite understand you know the appeal uh, to people to actually want to get out on the water and, and have fun and compete and I think it's wonderful. UKSA is Cows Week's official charity. It helps young people transform their lives by taking to the sea. Sam and Lily have been preparing for a hectic week. I did Cows Week last year for the first time and it was such an amazing experience. I learnt quite a lot as well about sailing. It was just really fun and a really good atmosphere. Hopefully sailing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully sailing. Um, but. Uh... I think I'm going to be very, very busy with uh, a lot of breakages. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I suppose Cow's Week, what I'm looking forward to is, uh, um, I know it's a busy week and um, we don't have, you know, we've got lots on, so it's going to be a full on week. Um, but I just, I, I, I just enjoy seeing people getting afloat, um, you know, with our tri sailing and the, and the activities that we do. Um, just people experiencing Cow's Week from the water. I'm also really keen and about the cardboard boat race and I think that's a fantastic opportunity for the local community to get involved um, and, and that's you know that's what we need to do with Cows Week it's, it's not just racers going out racing it's, it's a community activity and it's a community um, event and such. Thursday should see the biggest ever Artemis fleet set off on a 50 mile sprint round the Isle of Wight and we'll have more updates later in the week. Dale McEwen, Solent Weekend News.